Hey, welcome back. This is Excel video 99. We're going to uh, start where we left off last time. We still got the same chart. To demonstrate this one, what I want to do just quickly is go to the design tab. I want to change this to a line chart for one of the things I want to show today. I, to me, it looks better as a bar with the data we're doing, but let me show you what happens when, um, let's assume that for whatever reason, we don't have data for 2008. I don't know why, but we don't. Maybe we, uh, we merged or it's not applicable or maybe, we, I don't know, we just lost it. And we clearly lost it in our chart too. We got this big old gap here. Let me show you, you got a couple of options when you've got a gap in your data like we do in 2008 here. What I'm going to do is, uh, let's go back to design and select data, hidden and empty cells. When you have empty cells, right now you can show them as gaps. You can show them as zero, which would drive it all the way down to here, or we connect, can connect them with a line. So what Excel will do is it will just start where you left off and you know, purple kind of went straight up there for the north. But all it does is it takes 2007, takes 2009 and just draws a slight, straight line in between if you're missing this data. We can put it back there and um, obviously it's not a straight line for purple. It went down and then back up. But if you're missing the data and you just want to extrapolate between, maybe it makes more sense between months. If you're missing data, you can, in a line chart, you can draw, have Excel just draw a line from here to there and make it work. What if you've hidden data? Let's hide uh, the east region for whatever reason. And I'm going to go down here and hide it. And now you see I've got northwest and central. I don't have east anymore. What you can do is you can come over here into the chart, go back to chart tools, design, select data, hidden and empty cells show data in hidden rows and columns and we can put that data back even though it's hidden in my data on the spreadsheet we can put it over here in the chart and we can always unhide it as well last thing i want to show you is let's take this and format it as a table and we'll just do something like that and then if we filter out um, let's just select everything greater than 500. I filtered some of my data, and so you're only going to see 2008, 9, and 10. But because hidden and empty cells is set to show them, we're seeing 2006 and 7 here even though we're not seeing them in the chart because it's filtered out. If you want to hide the stuff you filtered, now I've only got 8, 9, and 10 here, and then I can, I can show it or hide the data that's filtered. If we take that off, then the only way to get the data back is to come back, and we'll clear the filter, and now we're back to 2006, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So three things today. What did If there's a gap, and then, well, you know, let's come back over here, and I'll show from select data. From this select data source, hidden and empty cells menu. If there are gaps, if you've got holes in your data, what do you, do you want to show them as gaps? You can show them as zero. Or if you've got a, a line, uh, Excel will draw the point from 2007 to 2009, uh, like this purple line here, even though the actual data went down in 2008. And then this will toggle off if you're hiding rows or if you're filtering rows and columns. This will turn it on and off. That's what I wanted to show you today. Stay tuned next time. Uh, believe it or not, we're to our, our 100th Excel video. We'll talk then.